Hey guys, it's Game Boy Zero, and this is my first episode ever. 2016 was a really cool year for me. It was a year for me to just uh, gain a lot of knowledge about Game Boy and Nintendo and stuff like that. Um, but essentially, it was basically a year for me to chase uh, my childhood, uh, nostalgia in general, things that just gave me the whole warm and fuzzies of my childhood. One of those things is the Game Boy Pocket. Now, uh, for many, their first Game Boy was the original Game Boy, uh, and maybe even the Game Boy Color, but mine was one of the in-betweeners, like the Game Boy Pocket, and it was just one of those things. Oh, come on. My brother's Jacob's calling me. Now, I got this around 11 years old, and I got it with Jurassic Park. It wasn't the greatest game in the world, but it was definitely one of those things that just started my love for Nintendo. So yeah, Game Boy Pocket. The next thing I got last year was a Super Nintendo. Now this is a uh, Super Nintendo from my brother Jacob. Um, he kind of let me borrow it indefinitely, but it's pretty much mine now. Uh, and I got a few games for it, like Lion King, one of the hardest games. I still haven't beat it to this day. And a couple inbox games that I have lying around here. Uh, but Super Nintendo was just one of those things in the 90s that, uh, forget, I mean I spent countless hours on. So uh, Super Nintendo one of those things that I got last year that uh, was just a must-have. So, Super Nintendo. Now the next thing here is the NES Advantage. I don't know how many games I've played on this thing, but one of them was Track and Field. It had the turbo uh, accessibility and it was just one of those things that allowed me to whoop my brother on. Now, the reason for this video. It's a piece that a lot of people are trying to obtain today. I mean, if you try to find it on eBay, it's going to be worth 85 to 90 bucks. But I found it for $14, and I thought maybe it'd be a really cool video if I tried to fix it. And if I didn't fix it, hey, it'll be a nice piece for me to have on my desk. So, without further ado, let's try to fix this clock. So here it is in all its glory. I mean, this thing is just, it looks cool. I, it, it looks cool, feels cool. And it, it just, again, it gives you all those warm and fuzzies that nostalgia brings. Um, it's obnoxious, it's loud, it's bright. It's everything Nickelodeon was in the 90s. I like Nickelodeon now, but it's never gonna be the way it was in the 90s. And if it ever does again, I'll be there. I hope I could be there to enjoy it. I wanna thank you for visiting my channel and checking out my first video ever. The Nickelodeon Time Blaster, it's one of those cool toys from the 90s and it's still cool today. It's one of those toys that just inspired me to start this channel in the first place. I look forward to sharing way more with you throughout the whole year and if you have any ideas that you wanna share with me, fill it out in the comment section below. If you want, share this video with your friends and be sure to subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification button so you can get updates anytime I upload a new video. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Thanks.